Hey, how's it going guys? JC here and today we're going to be playing some AP Trin. OP.GG runes and masteries will be on the screen. This is a silver game, so we'll see how we go. Generally speaking, AP Trin's really strong early on, so I'll try to show that right here. But then what happens is AD Trin will outscale AP Trin later on into the game. Like mid to late game, AD Trin stronger. Early game, AP Trin stronger. That's how I feel anyway. And it also has really good sustain. I have 43 AP right now, so see how we go. Start with Dark Seal. And what I want to do is, once Renekton comes to lane, then I want to auto him twice, if I can. Or maybe if I can get some Fury here, then I might get a crit on him. Oh, what the heck. I'm not used to this attack speed, though. So you have to bear with me for that one. Oh, okay. I don't have any AD as well. But yeah, do you guys see that trade? He went into bush so I couldn't get another auto off. Or else that would have been a much better trade for me. So what I want to do is... Kill these two minions, and then since the next wave arrives, this next melee minion that dies would give me level 2. So what I want to do is maybe bait him in a little bit. Okay, level 2. Unfortunately, I don't have Thunderlords yet. It's still on cooldown when I went on him. Okay, he's level 2, so he can stun me under tower, or else I would have dove him. Oh, damn. damn, I thought I could kill him, but I'm still not used to my auto attacks, and I should have Q healed. So I messed up there. Damn. That's my bad. I think what's messing me up right now is I'm so used to having attack speed runes, and just not being able to get that auto attack feels like a malfight permanently eat me. You know, it just feels really bad, so we'll try to come back from this. I think we can, but I did waste my ignite, though. That was really close, but Cho'Gath ganked at level 2, which... Hmm. That's a bit odd but also kind of boosted on my part so we'll try to make up for this very soon okay you guys will see the cs mechanics here oh god it's actually awful okay it's a little bit of something but yeah you guys can quickly see that it has a lot of potential to do damage though I just have to see what Renekton comes back with. And I should have been popping potions too. So I made a bunch of mistakes when Cho'Gath ganked me. I didn't ward, didn't pop potions, didn't pop Q heal. I could have survived that easily. Okay. So see if Zin wants to come in. We might be able to do something here. Damn. That was my chance to go in. So after that, let's see. I can Q heal here. He wants to W me, but I don't think Zin's showing himself. He's actually showing himself. Okay, well, any bit of chunk damage is good. But this is diveable, to be honest. If Zin stayed with me, uh, I would have dove. Did he just use his W? He just used his W, didn't he? Oh, okay, no. Man, this is so diveable. I'm gonna go for it very soon. But I kind of wish I had my... What's that called? Revolver. So I can instantly proc Thunderlords. Okay, I need to not take tower hits though. I need to wait for my cooldown. Oh, get out of here. Nice. That's pretty good. I think his teleport's up, so I'm going to leave this wave here. If I try to shove it in, he'll TP onto a wave, and then he can potentially freeze it. So we just want to back away like this. And now that I have my revolver, I'll show you guys the power of revolver. It's really nice. It feels so good. I also want my Zerkos because, you know, Trindamir needs to auto attack, so simply put. Or I could go for Lucidity. That's also a nice one. Just because if I could get Nashes and Lucidity, then I'll have 30% cooldown reduction for my E, which is also very, very nice, so... I think I might just do Lucidity with Nashes and see how we go. Okay, so... Renekton just warded. Oh, I don't have my ping vision bound to anything. Not on this account. Okay, we'll just sit here and pick up all this CS. And then after that, I'll trade with him. 
I can basically spin on him and auto once, and then I can proc Thunderlord just like that. And just wait for tower to target one minion before auto attack. Just not enough attack speed though. So we're full health, he just traded with us. Next time Thunderlords come up, uh, Hextech Revolver should come up as well, so I just need to spin onto him and just auto once and it'll chunk his health out. Either that or I could auto him once and then spin away if I'm scared of him. So those are the two options, you can either be aggressive and all in with your E and auto, because that means it opens you up to basically him running you down the lane if you, if you choose a bad time to do all in like that. Yeah, he's not going to contest this pink ward just yet. Okay, nice. And what's Cho'Gath gonna do? Okay, he took two tower hits. I think I can kill this Renekton very soon. Next Thunderlords. And then I'll just run him down. Hopefully my team can do something off of this since Cho'Gath is top. But we'll just ping because Cho'Gath could be mid, so... This is give that map awareness to your team. Just do it for them, you know. If you're no, if you know for sure, you definitely should do it for them. Especially in the lower elos, it helps so much. So he's playing a bit safer, and yeah, he's being very aware. That's good. Just need a danger ping on their lane, or the rough direction of it as well. And yeah, we push this in pretty nice, and we get to go back again. This time I might pick up a Sheen because I want to. Let me see. Yeah, Sheen sounds good. I think that'll give me that extra damage I need. Okay, uh, both our mid and jungle just died, so... Unless we hard win this one, ooh, this is gonna be a tough game. So we're going to expect someone to be ganking top very soon. So we're going to be... We have to basically work off of their mistakes, so... We'll try to do something, make something out of this. But yeah, we stay at full health and stay at our tower because there's a high chance of getting dove if we get low. So the only way to counter getting dove is just to stay at high health. That's basically it. If your team's losing, that's what you have to do. And also it's optional, but you can also level E first if you're AP Trin, just for the extra early damage. But I simply like Q because it gives me more sustain and also gives me damage as well, just AD damage. Like a significant amount of AD damage. So it helps with CSing. So it's up to you personally if you want to burst the enemy or you want to... <laughs> you guys see that damage? Pretty crazy. I think I can run him down. No, oh, okay. Never mind. There's a lot of people there. Okay, we have a lot of sustain though. So we can auto all these minions, and once he comes over, we can spin onto him. What the heck was that? Alright, very nice. AP Trin in action, guys. And look at a Q heal, 400 health. Let's see, where's Cho'Gath? We do not know, so let's just go back. We can't really take out this tower right now with this push and with two melee minions, you know. And now I'm going to grab some lucidity boots as well, so more CDR. After that, I'm going to rush straight for Nash's. By the way, this build, I got the idea from Fogged, so if you guys want to check him out, feel free to. He plays AP Trin as well every now and then. But I think I'm going to deviate a little bit by going for Gunblade. I really like Gunblade. I'm not a fan of Proto Belt. Like, Proto Belt's good, but you need that, you know. You need some AD. I just feel like... Lack of any bit of AD is just really feels bad. Also, it's gonna give me a lot of. Oh wait, I should have ordered Renekton and then spanned away. I keep forgetting I'm AP as well, because that's like an automatic reaction. See that damage? You just order him once and spin away just because your revolver. Like it's really insane. Really good trade, and very strong in lane. Also, we have built in wave clear, so we don't need to buy a Tiamat or a ship. Just because we have, yeah, we have our E and that does a lot of damage. By the way, with AP you can take out towers really fast as well. As long as given you have attack speed, just because your AP turns into damage when you hit towers. It, I don't know how it works exactly, but it just works really, really well. So let's see if I could get one hit on that tower and show you guys. Uh, eh, maybe not. 
Ah, maybe yes. So 31 magic damage. We also did true damage because I guess we have... I don't know where his rupture was, but I flashed anyway. I just did a trade back because, you know, Cho'Gath already backed away. Ah, oh, 3 top? Wait, what is Cho'Gath doing? Alright, 3 top. Drink some water and get ready for the dive. Did she just use her E? Okay. Okay, okay. Kill tower. Don't come here. By the time they come here, nothing's gonna happen. Alright, yes. Wait, I died a bit earlier than I thought I would. Damn. That Renekton Q- Renekton Q just destroyed me. Yeah, I died a little earlier than I thought I would. I didn't think I'd get one shot from that health. Alright, well that really sucks that we had three people here. And to be honest, I think if Velkos just backed away, I'd let that tower go. And then I wouldn't have risked my life. But yeah, I did misplay, I guess. I suppose if I died, that was a misplay, but I didn't think I'd die from that health. Just because Renekton seemed to be really weak. Okay, we did our damage. As long as I proc Thunderlords every time on him, I'm happy. It's definitely diveable. And then I'm gonna ping Zin to take tower after that, so I can help other lanes. So if he walks up into my E range, I'm gonna go for it. Ah, oh, well, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. Nice, Sue. Take tower. Ah, oh, damn. Lissandra's here. I think Zin just died. Rip. Okay, see if we could. Never mind. He has teleport. That's annoying. Okay, this game's not going so smoothly, so it feels bad. But I'll, I'll make something happen, guys. I promise. Let's see how much damage, so... Yeah, quite a bit. Mountain Drake's helping a lot. 30 extra every time we hit. Just because of our 90 AP. It's like one third of our AP goes into damage on tower. That's pretty decent, actually. The lower my health, the more AD I have, so... It's like a little strategy that I've been using to push faster. When I know that no one's gonna come here. Okay, let's try to take this tower here. But the one time they go over there, my whole team dies. We're actually doing so much damage to this tower, it's insane. Yep, we took two towers just like that. Really fast with AP. Especially with some attack speed. So now I can go for Nashes, that's a lot of on-hit damage. The moment I spin on someone and hit them once, I do a lot of damage. So the next item I'm going to get would be Lich Bane or Gunblade. One or the other. Also gonna try to do Rift Herald, so... I'll push this out and do Rift Herald. Because I don't think my bot lane's going to rotate with me. Not at this elo. Okay, that's his... That's his ability. Ah, oh, that really sucks. Is someone coming? Let's see, where... Is that, that's Renekton mid, okay. So I'm pretty safe. To the hand. Nice, nice. Unfortunately, Baron's spawned already, so there's no Rift Herald, but we can turn on this. Nice, we got him. 
One of us is in deep trouble. And when I Q heal, I proc Sheen as well. Does more damage. All around feels good. And then now we go rotate to bot side. See what we can do. The thing is, when the game goes like this and it feels really, like, crappy. In higher elo, yes, I probably can't do anything. But in lower elo, I can play AP Trin and just mess around. And I'm still, like, getting objectives and taking towers because they just mess up <laughs> on their own. I had enough gold for Cutlass, so I just went for Cutlass first. I was a fair ways away from my Lich Bane, so I think Cutlass will be nice for chasing people down. These guys all want to run away from me. Also having max cooldown reduction feels good. This build gives you max cooldown reduction. We also one-shot the backline with our E. That's the most important thing. Is We don't need our Static Shiv or our Tiamat. I don't know where this support is. Or the rest of the team for that matter. Push mid and top guys. Get Baron control. So give them simple instructions and they should be able to follow this. Push mid and top, get Baron control, and then I'll split bot. So it's as straightforward as it gets. And basically your job right now, if you're the split pusher, is just not die. Once you can, you'll push this out. So if Renekton's by himself, we can probably kill him. So I just do that little cheeky trade there because I don't have any damage after that. So I might as well just do that. Surprise him out of the bush. He's not there. I check with my W. Ping missing or danger because we know that Renekton's there. And then we'll push this out right now. If Renekton comes back, we have pretty good trade potential against him. Because our Thunderlords will be up again. What the heck? Cho'Gath is just standing here. That build though. Here's Luden's Echo. Let me see. I want to see if I could chunk him. That's pretty decent. He's not going to do any damage to me because I'm just AP Trin. Can't heal too much for him. But yeah, AP is really bad against tanks, so if he builds a lot of armor, it just works really bad for me because I still do physical damage. It's just that my abilities scale off AP, so it increases my physical damage by getting AP because of the AP scaling from my E and my Q. That's about it, guys. So it's not as efficient, but it can work. Okay. Nice. Very good, very good. Back away. It's just that someone needs to push out top as well. Jin is just not pushing mid, so that really sucks. They send so many bot, and then Jin's just goofing off. He needs to be here. Or at least he needs to be pushing out top. Like, anything is better than just wandering around in the jungle. And we'll just keep pressuring here. Cho'Gath won't be up for another 8 seconds, and he still has to walk back to lane, so... We won't have anyone stopping us from taking this next tower, which is the most important objective for us right now. Not so much them dying, they're just dying straight up by themselves. And we can't do anything about that, it's just part of the game. So we'll just push this tower and try to get as much as possible. Wow, he almost walked into that, Jesus. Okay, we have a lot of gold, let's back away and then potentially we can help our team. So we'll walk past this minion wave and then that way Cho'Gath will only... Unless he walks past that minion wave. Okay, not much we can do about that. We just have to run away. I don't necessarily want to flank them just because I have so much gold. Okay, I went straight for a Lich Bane because I like my revolver proccing right away. And then I have a Cutlass active as well. So just all around more damage than one Gunblade active. Because you get Lich Bane as well. So we're getting quite a bit of AP now. I want to keep pushing bot, and then I can 1v1 almost everyone except for tanks, so maybe Lissandra is going to be a bit of a problem too. As you 
But yeah, definitely try this out in your normal games. Pretty fun, I'd say. I just didn't execute it properly early on because I played like a monkey. I just wanted to test out its damage and just go really aggressive. So I just completely threw warding and safety out the window and just died for it. Okay, two bot. Pressure, Baron. I mean, I think that might be too much to ask for this team because this is silver elo, but hopefully they can still pull it through. Because that's what you're meant to do and they need to learn this sooner or later anyway. If they want to progress and climb, they need to learn these things. How to work with split push. Does he have ult? Screw it, YOLO. Alright, YOLO worked. Now. Only in silver elo though. Oh god. They can do a free Baron, I reckon. If they want to. Two bot, three Baron. Let's see if they'll do it. Because they should. I mean, just saying. The odds are heavily against the enemy team right now. I'm not afraid of taking damage from power. Let me see. I, I'm going to put a ward here. And then... Is there a red? Yes, there's a red. Okay, let me take this red. Make it easier to kill Morgana very soon. And yeah, because we shot called, we get a free Baron. Just because we are leading the team. Even though we're playing a troll. No, we're not playing... Not, not troll at all. This is a legitimate build, guys. It actually works. See, I'm 5 and 2. Okay, what do they want? Do they want to surround me? Because if they do, I'll just back away. Alright, nice. 3 bot. Keep... Pushing mid and top. Let me split. Okay, so if they come, just tell them to go away. Because the moment they come, the enemy will group up onto you as well. You can't do anything when it's a team fight situation. Trinomy just thrives on split pushing 1v1, you know? And like 2v1s. So since they're fighting, we can push this out. But Janna needed to be with them to disengage for them. So see if they could defend. If not, then I have to go back. But we do have Baron, so we do have pressure right now. I don't want to lose pressure completely. And they can't end the game off this, so I can keep pushing. Okay, Cho'Gath is here. That's good. We got one person here. And that means we can recall because we're not going to be able to push much further. So in that sense, we'll go back right now. I don't know what to buy with 2,000 gold because I'm in a hurry, so I'm just going to go straight there. Wow. Nice. Damn. Damn. Missing them by just. Oh, is he gonna ult me? It's crazy. Those disables last forever. Jesus, I couldn't spin for the longest time. But luckily my Q heal is just straight up OP, you know? See, I'm full health again. Okay, so this is... A little bit scary because I don't have my ult, so I can't really back them up fully. But, oh my. Okay. Whatever floats their boat. Oh, wait, wait. I need to, I need to be careful. Get out of that Morgana thing. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm dead. I just, I just entered right there. But it was all in the name of helping Zin get another kill. See, Renekton stunned me instead of him, so he got another kill. That's my excuse for feeding, but don't do that, guys. <laughs> don't actually in like me. I'm just messing around. So we have 7 stacks, get a Magi's looks good in the end small screen, but... You guys just know that split pushing works really well, and... That's how I'm climbing to Diamond 1, is I simply do what I'm doing here, except the extra step is I'm spoon feeding every little thing that my team needs to do. So, for example, if there's 3 bot, I call 3 bot, and I tell them exactly what to do. Pressure Baron. I tell them to push out mid, push out top, you know? 
every little detail I tell them because that's what a high elo player in say Master, Challenger, Diamond 1, Diamond 2, like they'll all automatically do that. Not so much Diamond 5, they do not do that. Diamond 5 you still need to spoon feed them like silver players though. That's the really strange thing about Diamond 5. It's a whole different beast. Because Diamond 5, a lot of people buy boosting services, right? And that takes them straight to Diamond 5. So what happens is they'll play a lot of games. They might be plat elo, they might belong to gold. But they'll play a lot of games and then they'll lose a lot, right? Then they'll be stuck in 0 LP to say 50 LP. 0 to 50 LP. You'll have a lot of players like that. And the thing is they get really arrogant so they think they know everything because Simply put that their account is now diamond even though they didn't get it themselves. So uh, there's, there's a lot of personality issues in diamond 5. Let's just say that it's really bad But I think I'm going a little bit off topic here So I'm a hundred fury. Let's see if Varus comes over. That'd be nice, but I don't think he will So let's push our bot and we end it Five bot Okay, sweet as. What I'm going to do now when I say 5 bot and end is I'm going to push out mid as well. So I pushed out bot and then it's already at the tower, I push out mid. But I don't want Janna following me around though, that's the thing is. Supports tend to follow whoever around and just not really think. But when I'm trying to guide them as well, they need to just follow, follow where I'm telling them to go. Okay, so Zin's not listening, but that's fine. We have three people that are listening. Although they're getting engaged on, so that really sucks. I can't do much for them right now. If I go over there, I'll just suicide as well. So I'll push this in and force them back into base. Potentially. What? He just stunned a minion. I guess this is GG then. 490 damage from Lich Bane. That's how strong it is. But yeah guys, see? You can actually carry as one player. Do you guys know how I said something about if as one player, how can you carry? Is because you have a team of Graguses on your team and a team of Graguses on the enemy team that don't want to do anything properly. Like they just don't want to win. So if you are the one person that wants to win, you tell them exactly what to do to win. Just tell them the win condition. If you're a split pusher, you split push. And you tell them to go mid and top. Tell them to just hold it out and pressure. And after that, once you bring like two or three people down there, you tell them to do Baron. And that's it. Simple as that. It might fail. It might not work every single time because, you know, there are players that don't listen, right? And if they don't listen, you can't do much about it. But if they do listen, then, you know, great. So yeah, that's the game, guys. GG well played. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. I hope you guys enjoyed this AP Trin match. I think it is pretty fun. If you guys want to see more, I can do more of these because I've had actually better games on AP Trin. This one's probably one of, like, a meh one, but I think it highlights a lot of useful things that you guys might want to know. So yeah, GG well played. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.